Hello, young humans. This is your old friend, Michael Shabon, and I'm here for story time. Today, we're going to be doing a real classic. Uh, it's one that I loved when I was little, that my kids loved when they were little. And you probably know it. You probably have heard it before, but um, you never heard me read it to you before. So that's something new. And it's Where the Wild Things Are, which was written and drawn by Maurice Sendak, who is a wonderful author. And we have a couple other of his books in this stack because they were always favorites of my kids. Um, so here we go with Where the Wild Things Are. Here's the title page. The fun kind of starts right there. And this is how it begins. It begins. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. And here's Max. See him in his wolf suit and he's making mischief of one kind, which is the kind where you tie a bunch of your handkerchiefs together to make a string and then you hang a blanket over them to make a tent and you nail things into your wall. It's probably all stuff that Max's mom would prefer that he would, would not do. The night that Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. And what's he doing there? That's naughty. He's chasing the doggy with a fork because I think he's pretending to be a scary wolf. Although I don't know how the fork comes into that. And then if you look really close on the wall there, there's a picture that Max drew that is going to look very familiar in a moment. And it says, by Max. His mother called him wild thing. And Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That's something that parents used to do in the old days to punish their children, to send them to bed without their supper. And that's what Max's mom did to him. See his room? Okay. Take a picture of it in your mind because it's going to start changing. That very night, in Max's room, a forest grew. See that? Look at the expression on Max's face. He's like, hmm, I don't care. And grew. Look now, now Max's expression looks to me like he's thinking, oh, actually, this is pretty amazing. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. Wow. Look what happened. Where is Max's room? It disappeared. The moon is still there. Do you remember the moon was out his window? And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max. And he sailed off through night and day. And in and out of weeks, and almost over a year to where the wild things are. See, he's arriving there. There's the first wild thing that we see. It's sort of a sea monster wild thing. Do you remember how his mother called him wild thing? And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes. 
and showed their terrible claws. Look. See the wild things? Look at Max. Does he look afraid? Not really. Till Max said, Be still! And tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. Now look at this. There Max is, and he's doing the magic trick, staring into all their yellow eyes, see? And he tamed them. And they called him the most wild thing of all. And made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. See, here they are making him king. That one is bowing. He's wearing a crown, he has a scepter. And here they all are. And Max says, let the wild rumpus start a rumpus is a kind of a combination of a, a fuss and a noisy party and uh, might include some fighting and dancing and knocking things over and breaking stuff it just sort of means people acting crazy all together and here is a picture with no words of the wild rumpus that one. They're looking at the moon. There's Max. He's dancing and looks like he's howling. That one's jumping in the air. When I was little and my mom would read me the story, sometimes this one with the with the big nose would scare me a little bit. I don't know why. It doesn't scare me now. And here's some more rumpus with no words, just pictures. So let's look. What are they doing? They're hanging from the trees. There's Max. There's his friend. That one kind of looks like a bull, huh? And this one has a head like a sort of an eagle or a rooster. It's kind of a griffin. And here's the last picture with no words of the wild rumpus. This looks like they're having a bit of a parade, doesn't it? I'll pull it back so you see the whole thing. Look at that, and then we'll come in close. There's Max riding on the bull wild thing's shoulders. Now stop! Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then, all around, from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. Let's see him, here's this picture. We'll start out with the whole thing and then we'll come in so you can see that he sent them all to bed without their supper. They're sleeping. And there's Max all alone now. And he's kind of missing home and he's missing his dinner. He smells good things. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, 
No. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. You see, there they are. They're so, they don't want him to leave. He's their king. They love him, but he's ready to go. And they try to scare him into staying, but that doesn't work. He gets in his boat and he sails away. He sailed back over a year, and in and out of weeks, and through a day. Here he is, sailing back. And where do you think he's sailing to? Maybe you already know. And into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. See him? He's pushed back the hood of his wolf costume so you can see he's just a boy with regular hair. And there on the table is his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. And that's how that story ends. See, so his mother, she wouldn't really send him to sleep with no supper. And she knows sometimes, especially when you've been stuck inside the house for a little while and you're stuck in your room for a little while, you get a little restless and you get a little rambunctious and maybe you even start acting like a wild thing. Anyway, I really enjoyed reading that story and looking at those beautiful pictures with you. I hope you enjoyed it too. And I will see you again tomorrow for the next story. I'm not totally sure what it's going to be, but it's going to be no longer than 15 minutes. And I will be here for you then. Stay safe. Be well. Take care of each other. Bye.